Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a custom icons for your Power BI requirements report building purpose. So this will be an interesting one. So please stay till the end to know exactly how it can be done. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So basically, I am into your PowerPoint, which is Office 365 license. So if you have this one, then you can go to insert on the top menu and then you have option like icons, right? To click on that, then it will open up a new window and here you can see a lot of icons which is available here. So you may think, oh, this is the one which can easily done, right? No, here is the thing. So we have a lot of things here. And if you want to customize it for something for ourselves, then we need to do a little bit of work around here. And also there is an advantage here. I will tell you at the end. So here, basically what I want to do here, for an example, if I want to build an icon for a cart. So I'm going to search for back. Yeah, here is the one back. I can find out here and tag. So tag, yeah, this is the one. So click on insert. So now I have these two icons here. So I, if I want to build something else based on these two icons, then I can just keep these two icons here. So for an example, I have a bag and a tag is included into it. So I can add multiple things here, right? So again, for an example, if I go here and then add icons and as we have multiple icons here, then we can search for it. I just wanted to search for round shapes here. Ah, oh, here's the one. So if I just click here and then insert, so I have it here. So if I want to mesh all these three together, then I can also do that. So if I click here, and click here and keep this here and also not only just black and white i can also color everything here right so if i click here i can change the color of this bag here and also i can change the outline of the bag here and also for the tags here so just check here for the tag i want to keep this as a color and black background for the tags i want to reposition this and regarding this one i don't have option to change the color for each and every um box square and triangle here so if i want to change it to something else then i can also do that here and i want to place it here just for this purpose and then either you can go one by one like for an example if you want to keep this alone as an icon then also you can do that but just for an example i want to add these three so i'm selecting these three also here and right click this one and we have option save as picture. So if you click here, then it will be asking you to select the format here. Basically, I prefer to go ahead with PNG. So back tag two, I'm going to give it a name here and save. Okay, now let's go to Power BI. So this is my Power BI file, right? So I'm going to insert here and add an image. So I need to select that image which is here. So I want to select this one and open. So this is open up here, right? So I can resize this image here. The best part which I told earlier, right? So if I want to increase this one, see there is no break in the pixel here. This is as much as clear as it is. So this is the way you can easily create your customized icons using PowerPoint and then save the picture as and use it in your Power BI reports. Not only this for useful for Power BI alone, it can be used for anywhere else wherever you want to create your custom icons. You just need to think and put your thought process how you need to arrange an icon, how you need to build an icon with the available options here as a preset icons. So you no need to build something from the scratch. So everything is available here. You just need to pick the right ones and arrange it together in order to build a new icon for yourself.
I hope you found this video as a useful one. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button and also post your feedback in the comment section below. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.